Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in River City Ransom, grabbing the Dominate the Menu achievement. This is to buy everything from the sushi bar. Now, what's going to be optional, yet highly recommended, is playing this with a second player or just another controller plugged in. The reason for that is if you have a second player, it's going to prevent any incidental deaths. So make sure you plug one in if you have it. Set the text speed to fast and stick the difficulty on novice. Then what you want to do, as soon as both of you load in, you want to make your way towards the second town. If you're doing this by yourself, it's going to take a little bit of finessing in order to control both characters. Just make sure they both sprint forward and try your best to avoid any enemies and just try to stumble to the second town the best you can so just keep heading right and making sure you take any necessary turns that you need to make skip the turn between the first town and the construction area that's going to lead to the playground hopefully you are familiar enough with the game that you know where you're going at least and once we make it over to the second town we should be good for this next part so once you are there, it's time to start our initial money grinding because we are going to need a ton of money in order to buy all of the sushi. So whenever both of you are ready, what you want to do is you want to make sure you move both controllers back to the construction site. To get the two controller trick to work, what you want to do is you want to make sure you move the second player off screen. So just make sure you take them back through the exit back towards the second town. And now what's going to happen is if your first player ever goes down, instead of dying and losing half of your money, you are just going to respawn to wherever the second player is and you basically get to keep all of your money. You will only lose half of your money if both players go down. That being said, I recommend this as a very good spot to farm money at the start of the game. The reason for that is it's very close to the town. It's very easy to move the second player off screen once you have entered the construction zone. And there is also a pit, which in case you ever want to recover all of your health, what you want to do is you want to move one of the players off screen and then just jump into the pit with whatever player that you want to heal. And they'll basically respawn with full health. So just keep killing enemies and picking up coins up to the point where you either have cleared the screen or you have died and have respawned to the next town and just keep rinsing and repeating until you have the amount of money you need in order to move to our next farming spot. So that is going to be about $27 or so. So just keep farming here for maybe about five to 10 minutes. Once you have about $27, it's time to head back to the first town. So just move both controllers over to the left. You might want to have full health before you start making the run in case you take any accidental hits. So make sure you make your way back to the first town. Then you want to head to the bookstore, which should be the first store in town if you enter from the right. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you buy the Dragon Feet. It's going to cost you $26.95. It's going to be a very special move that's pretty much going to make every boss fight in this game a piece of cake. But in terms of for this achievement, we are going to use it to help us farm money. So once you have bought it, make sure you hit the Y button to bring up the pause menu. Enter the inventory, which is going to be called Belongings, and then just click on the Dragon Feet and make sure you learn it. You know you've learned it once there is the little hashtag next to it, and you should now have the technique. Now, once you have the technique in hand, it is time to move to our next farming spot. So make sure you unpause, and then you want to make sure you move both controllers back to the right. Head back into the second town, and then from here, what you want to do is you want to continue the journey towards the right. Once you get to the next screen over, you should get a cutscene if it's your first time here. Doesn't really matter, just get through it. But where you want to go after that cutscene is going to be this upper left corner. Once you get here, you should meet these two optional bosses, Benny and Clyde. Basically what you want to do is you want to repeat our strategy from earlier. So just move the second controller off screen by taking them to the bottom left corner and then just have your first controller take these two guys out. Now that you have the dragon feet, you can just kick them to death really quickly and they should go down super fast. They are going to drop about $7. So this is going to be a way more reliable spot than the previous one since the last farming spot gave us only about $2. So just keep killing guys until you have saved up enough money to buy all of the sushi. It's going to cost about $115 or so so make sure you just stick here until you get to the necessary amount of money once you have enough money it's time to start heading back to the first town so make sure you leave back towards the bridge and then start heading left through the second town 
through the construction site, through the street that is in front of the playground, and then left one more to get to the first town, and then we can hit up the good old sushi bar. Try not to die along the way, obviously, because you don't want to lose all that money that you work so hard to grind for, so just keep working your way to the left. Of course, you can take advantage of the in-game save, so back up your save if you must. But once you get back to the first town, it's time to hit up the sushi bar, and to get the achievement, you just have to buy everything on the menu. So there's going to be three sub-menus. We have cheaper sushi, expensive sushi, and rolls. Cheaper sushi is going to contain the egg, octopus, squid, conger eel, and prawn. Make sure you buy all of those with your new extravagances, and then it's on to the expensive stuff. Make sure you get the salmon, the arc shell, the sea urchin, the halibut, and the swordfish. And then finally, we have all of the rolls to get through, so make sure you hit up that menu and then knock that one out to round out the achievement. So hit up rolls and then we have salad roll, tuna roll, shrimp roll, and mixed roll. That should all amount to the $115. And once you buy the last thing, you should be good for your achievement. There it is. It's going to be for 100 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.